Hi guys, it's Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. And I had a couple of you guys ask me about this Sunny Scopa Metallic Tattoo Paper, which is basically a water slide paper on how to make your own foiled tattoos. Now I will say that uh, there are a couple things on here. I did try to find videos. I really didn't find any good videos. And I've been playing with this for about an hour to try to get it right. I will say it was successful. I did manage to melt myself a purple fairy tattoo. It's not sticky or anything, but um, this is a very complicated system. So I would say this is not for beginners. Um, and there are a couple things that you need, do need to have. And one of them is either a mink machine or a very hot laminator. And you will need a laser printer. So the instructions on the back do tell you. You can now design your own gold or silver tattoo stickers with a laser printer at home. Um, and it does state on here a laser printer. And it says that the tattoos will last about a week. Now, in this particular package, one of my viewers sent me from Amazon. This is five sheets of gold. Okay, so it doesn't have any other colors. It's five sheets of gold. Now, what comes in this package? Well, you actually have about three parts that you're going to need. And it does have full uh, color instructions. Um, yeah, there are actually 10 steps to this. So we're going to go through them. But what you're going to do is you are going to divide your kind of papers up here or what comes in here. I'm going to pull out the ones I already used so you can see them. So the first thing you're going to pull out and use is this blue paper. Okay. And the blue paper has a uh, paper side and then a shimmer or a glossy side. So can you see that? So this is what you are going to print on in your laser printer. Okay. You're going to have five sheets of this. It's basically a non-stick mat. Okay. So you're going to print and it does have specifics on to feed it in your laser printer in the front, have it come out the back, print it as label. It's all in the instructions. Okay. The second thing you're going to need is foil. Now, again, this one came with five sheets of foil. Um, as you can see, mine is purple. So any of the foils that you use now uh, that I recommend in my foiling videos that are toner foils will work. But this comes with five sheets of eight and a half by 11 foil. But uh, any toner you have, toner foil will also work in this process, okay? It also comes with five white, I'm going to call these laminate sheets. I don't know how to explain them. There is some kind of special coating on these sheets. It's very difficult to see. It tells you to laminate on the glossy side. Um, I don't know that there is a way of telling which side is glossy or not. It looks like regular paper when you look at it with the naked eye. However, there is some kind of coating on here and the only reason I found it is uh, just by pure accident. Um, is that the back side of these papers, some of them have a number printed on them. I don't know. Why is my camera not focusing? Oh, probably because of the foil. Okay, so if you flip this over, the other side is the side we need, which there's some kind of special coating on here, but this, in my opinion, does not look glossy at all, but there is some kind of adhesive on here, okay? And then the last sheets that are in here are the adhesive sheets, which is basically transfer sticker paper, which is what we're going to use to transfer everything over, okay? So you have four sheets and you will be using all of these. So you have um, the adhesive sheet, which you can tell is a sticker paper. It has that plastic coating on it. You have the, what we're calling the laminate sheet, which again, there is no glossy side, so I don't know how you know, except for looking for the numbers on the back. You have your foil, and then you have your printer, printer laser printer sheet, okay? Now, what you're going to do um, is you're going to download whatever image you want to print, and you are going to print that on your laser printer. So I have already done that with these fairies. I think that I have downloaded them from Creative Fabrica. Okay. Once you have your fairies or your image, whatever printed, and you want to print it as dark, as black as it can get, just like our traditional 
foiling um, routine. Now I will say I've already killed six fairies before I could finally get it to work. So hopefully this will work out okay. And I like to cut mine out individually so that way if I mess up, I only mess up one at a time instead of mess messing up all six at a time. I'm just going to cut around the design. Okay, and then the next part is simple. We're going to foil. So I do recommend, of course, Dusty Dusty. I'm going to Dusty Dusty. I'm going to use the uh, gold foil that they provide. And again, any toner foil you have, H&H, &H, Deco foil, uh, Mink foil, any of those should work. No problem. And then I am going to put this in my machine. Now, this foil tends to work between three and four. I find um, I get a little bit of overfoiling with four, but a little underfoiling with three. So, again, just play with your machine and see what works. I've had my machine going for quite a while, so maybe the three is hot enough now. We'll wait and see. And then once it goes through the foiling process, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. And I, this is where I really was messing it up. We want that, again, laminate sheet. And again, mine has numbers on the back, so this is the side that I need. You're going to bring this in, and this is where you're going to flip your design so that the sticky part is on here um, so that the foil side is, is what's going to work for your tattoo. Okay, now leave your mink or your laminator on because we have another role to play here. So you want to let that foil cool down before you reveal it. Okay, and then once you reveal it, hopefully we have full transfer here. Okay, that's pretty good. Probably could have went a little longer. All right, now we're going to cut a piece of this laminate film or paper. They're calling it laminate paper match our tattoo okay and what it says to do here is to moisten the blue part um, until it transfers onto the white part and I think we do laminate before we move it okay so we're going to now laminate this again so we're going to take the tattoo with the foil removed and put it on that white laminate sheet, okay? And what we want to do is transfer off of this blue sheet onto the white sheet. So we're going to run this through our machine. This is great if you want to make your own, you know, tattoos for the kids. Maybe you have a birthday or an event. I know a lot of people use these water slide decals to put on custom made things. I would honestly just rather print on clear sticker paper <laughs> um, if you're going to be putting it on objects. But, you know, to each his own. I am going to run this through again because I noticed that it does take two, two times. And now I have to figure out how to get this fairy off. I think baby oil will take it off or adhesive remover will take it off. I'm just going to rock my purple fairy. <laughs> I had done the first couple on Leah and then she ran away and was like, okay, I'm done being your, your guinea pig mom. <laughs> All right, so this is now coming out of my mink machine. If you don't know what a mink machine is, it's M-I-N-C. It has two rollers inside, which gets super hot, and you can change the heat level from zero to five. Um, generally, when you're doing foiling, you, you need to be at a much higher heat level than laminators. So when we're doing with laminators, I recommend uh, heating your laminator up for at least 30 minutes. Okay, now what's supposed to happen, which didn't happen, okay, is the... Tattoo is supposed to transfer from the blue to the white. So what we're going to do is take some water and wet the blue part here. This is all in the instructions, by the way. It does come with step-by-step -step instructions. Okay, and then 
You're gonna make sure you dab that, get that to stick down. Everywhere your image is needs to be wet. Okay, and the blue part is supposed to lift and leave your tattoo on the white part. Okay, which mine has not done, so. There we go, you see it starting to stick to the white. So now, oops, don't have full transfer there. The foil will be stuck on the white part and the blue part will be removed. Not, want, not wanting to release itself. This is where I was starting to get frustrated because the instructions made it look a little easier than it was. Now I'm sure if you have patience and you take your time, you'll do better, but I like my foiling to be quick and easy and this has about six steps too many in my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to do something it doesn't say to do, but I'm going to do it anyway, which is put this through my mink machine, which you may hear a little sizzle because the water is going to come out. But what it's going to do is it's going to relaminate that and force it to stick over on the other side. Yeah, I have done it a few times before, so don't worry. <laughs> Hear the water squeezing out and going onto the rollers. Okay, let's see if that pushed it over a little bit. Okay, so now we have the blue piece we can discard and we have our Image now transferred to the laminate sheet. Now from the laminate sheet, we need to go to the adhesive sheet. So we're going to bring in the, the sticker paper basically, and you're going to lift the clear top off very carefully. This is super sticky. It wants to stick to everything. And you're going to put your uh, image in there and you want to put the um, sticker onto the dark side. I just want to double check that I, I believe that I am doing this correct. Yes, because the sticker becomes your transfer sheet. Okay. Now we're going to cut around that. Now want to remove, there's a back piece here, which is the back, the sticker backer sheet. We don't need that. That goes in the trash. But we want to pull this adhesive up and we don't want the adhesive to um, come up. We just want the backing. The adhesive needs to stay on the tattoo. We just want the clear backing to come up. This is got a little... Got a little hairy on this part here. So we want the adhesive to stay. There we go. And we want the backing to come up. So I know it's hard for you guys to see, but the backing is removing itself. The adhesive is sticking to the paper. And you're going to just kind of see how here it's lifting. We want to be careful. We want to just pull this back. This is where, this is the part that I did not like at all. Although this one seems to be cooperating a little better. Okay. All right. We got, uh, you know, 90% here. Okay. So now 
We have this sticky. This is the adhesive is now removed off the clear piece. And we have a sticky, ready to go tattoo. You can stick this on, um, you know, if you have a cup. Uh, something you want to use, you can do that. You don't have to put it on skin. Uh, let me see if I can find a cup here. Actually, here I have my, uh, I hope I don't spill anything. This is my watercolor little bucket here. I'm going to stick it on here instead of sticking it on my skin. Okay, and then we can now get the paper wet again, just like we did before with the blue paper. Moisten that and it will lift very easily. So we have that moistened. That's why it's called a water slide because it will slide off. Or you can put it on your skin. It is not non-toxic. It's not going to hurt anything. And when you pull the backing off, The tattoo remains behind. And we can dab all that excess water out of the way. And now I have a water slide decal or a tattoo. I'm trying not to link water out of my water bucket here. So now I have this golden fairy water slide tattoo stuck to my water bucket, which is leaking water everywhere. Um, but hopefully... That gives you guys the ideas of the steps you need to go through to use this Sunny Scopa Water Slide Metallic Tattoo Paper. Um, again, I do think that this is kind of more of a advanced, not a beginner's foiling technique, but definitely have fun trying it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, post them down below. I want to, again, thank my subscribers for always suggesting new things for me to try out. Um, this is not something that I think I would have purchased on my own. So for you guys to ask questions and send it to me, does it work? Absolutely. Um, I just would recommend definitely practicing with it. Um, it does take a, there is a learning curve to it to be able to have success with it. But uh, you can see... There we have our printed foiled fairy. And now I have a really cool decorated little cup. Or you can have your own little uh, fairy tattoo. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.